Microsoft Teams during the summer enhanced the live meeting experience layouts. In order to be able to access those for a more engaging live experience through Teams meetings, there are a couple of things that you must check in order to activate it. Therefore, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. When you are in your Teams application, so at the bottom of your screen, you clicked on Teams and it opened up. On the left-hand side, you'll see that this is the Teams dashboard and it has any cards for any classes that you are a part of. In the top right-hand side, you will notice that when you click on your profile, you have the opportunity to then go down to settings. Click on settings. And if you scroll down, you will see that there is a box that says on turn on new meeting experience. Please check that box. Once you've checked the box, you can go to the top right of your screen and close this window. And then go to the bottom of your screen where there is the Teams app icon and right click on the icon. You will then click quit. Once you've quit the application, you will need to restart it. So at the bottom, you will double click on the left side of your mouse to open the Teams app. Now, when you go to enter a Teams meeting, you will see that you have expanded opportunities for viewing. Now I'm going to show you where to look in Teams to ensure that the new meeting experience has been enabled. On your Teams dashboard, on the left-hand side, you will click on Calendar. Then at the top right, you will click on the Meet Now button. You will then click Join Now. And this is what it is like to enter a meeting when your teacher organizes one for your class. And what you will notice is different is that at the top will be the toolbar now. So instead of it being in the middle of your screen like it was prior to the new meeting experiences, you will now have the toolbar at the top of your screen that will stay there the entire time. So you can see that the first icon represents showing the participants and who is in the meeting with you. The next one says show conversation. When you click on here, this is a chat feature that is able to be uh, enabled during a meeting. So if you have a question for your teacher, you can type it in the chat. What are we learning today? And then you hit enter and then your teacher will be able to reply back. At any point, if your teacher would like you to raise your hand, you can click on the raise your hand feature and that will notify that your hand is raised for your teacher to see. In addition, you will see that this is where you turn your camera on and off. And then this is where you turn your mic on and off. One of the most important features in a Teams meeting is the share your screen option. So the rectangle here with an arrow through it, when you click on it, it gives you the opportunity to share your screen. So you may need to use that in class at any point if your teacher asks you to share something that you're working on on your screen. Oftentimes, they, your teacher will be the one that is sharing their screen but we want you to be aware that that option is there. When you are done with your meeting, you can simply click leave the meeting and it will end. You can head back to your dashboard. When in a live Teams meeting, an additional enhancement to the live Teams meetings is the opportunity to see more people on your screen at one time. So when in a meeting, if you go to the three dots or the ellipsis and click on it, you will see that there is defaulting to gallery mode. Once you have your whole class in there and you're, you wanna see your classmates, you can click on large gallery. Large gallery will provide you with up to 49 video screens showing on your screen. So you can see your entire class at one time 
and be able to interact with your teacher and classmates.